back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you some DIY home decor IKEA hacks that you need to try. These are all super easy, no tools required, really, really cute, and of course, very affordable. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my three ideas on how you can create a lighting fixture, a wall decor item, and something for outside your house. I'll have all the products that I use to make these DIY projects down below in the description box so you guys can check that out and make them yourself as well. But if you enjoy watching, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more room makeovers and home decor content. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So for this first DIY project, we're going to be creating the cutest little macrame beaded pendant light. If you're looking to add some extra lighting in your space or you just want an extra piece of decor, this lighting fixture is just for you. It's affordable, it's super easy, and you don't need to hardwire it to the ceiling. So I think it's perfect for everybody. So for the first DIY, I'm going to be using the Hema cord set. And this is $10 from Ikea and it is the best thing for making your own pendant light. It plugs into the wall, you can hang it from the ceiling, and there's a little switch that goes on and off. I'm also going to be using the cloven lampshade. This is kind of like an oversized jar with a hole at the top, so you can string your light through and use this as a pendant light. I've used this in a previous project, but I really want to dress it up a bit and turn it into a different style lamp. So I'm going to be using macrame cording. I picked this up at Michael's. I I think you can also pick it up on Amazon, but I love the way it looks and attaching it with hot glue. So the first thing you have to do to get started is start wrapping your macrame cord around the glass fixture. I recommend starting at the top just in case anything gets messed up. It's kind of hidden away up there, but it's really easy. I'm just applying my hot glue as I twirl the glass around and cover the entire thing. It's a really quick process. I ended up using all of the macrame cord on this and getting about three quarters of the way down and ended it right there. So depending on the look that you want, you can bring the macrame all the way down or stop it three quarters like this. I like that this will still allow some light to come through the bottom, but the macrame covers the look of the light bulb. So you get a really nice finish at the end. For this bottom part, I'm gonna dress it up using these wood beads. And these wood beads are becoming more and more popular in home decor design. They add a really funky finish. I picked these up at Michael's for about $5 and I'm using the one and a quarter inch size. So before I actually attach the beads, I'm just laying out the pattern that I want on the table before I go ahead and attach them. I'm using hot glue to attach these just because I think it's the fastest, easiest thing to do. You can also use something like E6000. You just have to wait for it to dry longer. So I like how quick and easy hot glue is. But anyways, I'm just spreading these beads out along the bottom here. This little rim is a perfect spot to attach these beads. And it creates this kind of like little skirt underneath the light fixture. So you can attach beads of any size you want, any color you want, and get a similar look. But all you have to do after that is string your light back through the lampshade and you end up with this cute macrame beaded pendant light. It is so so beautiful. I'm attaching it to my ceiling using just a little hook and putting one hook where I want the light and one hook in the corner so I can hide the cord, switching it on and you end up with the perfect little custom lampshade. I think this is the perfect little pendant light to hang over a bed if you don't have a nightstand and you still want some kind of light coming through. You could also use this over a dining table, over your kitchen island if you don't have pendant lights hanging down. So there's so many different options, but I think if you created this in your own way, in different colors or styles, you could definitely end up with a really unique look. I think this is a really cool idea to switching a plain glass pendant light into something that's more custom, into a macrame beaded light fixture. This is also a safe lighting fixture because the glass is on the inside with the light bulb, so it's not like you're just having string and wood directly next to the light bulb. So there is some safety considered in this idea as well. Plus, it's an easy thing that you can do to turn something simple from Ikea into something custom for your space. This next DIY project is perfect for anybody looking for some new wall decor, door decor, or even event space decor. I'm going to be making the cutest little olive branch wreath that's super simple and will add so much style to your space. Wreaths are usually really expensive to buy as well. I've never even seen an olive branch one. So to get this specific style, you have to make it yourself. And this is a really easy and affordable way to do it. 
For this next IKEA hack, I'm going to be using the Smica Olive Branches from IKEA that are $3.90 each. So they're a really affordable piece, but I actually got this whole bundle at the as is section for $5.99 altogether. So I got them for a really good deal. Always check out the as is section if you're looking for stuff to DIY. But these are long branch faux olive stems. And these look really good in a vase, as greenery around your home. But I'm going to be using these and turning these into an olive branch door wreath. So I picked up this gold hoop from Michaels and this is from their floral section. It's a floral hoop. I got it in gold but if you can't find a gold one you can spray paint a silver one or a black one. Because these IKEA branches don't come with fake olives in them I thought I'm gonna use these wooden beads to create kind of a textured olive look. You can also use E6000 or hot glue depending on what you like to use best. I like to use hot glue but anyways I'm cutting off some of the smaller stems that are on the large branches just as filler greenery and simply hot gluing directly onto the hoop so you can just press down your smaller branches I cut off the main part of the stems so that I could work with these smaller pieces it just makes it a lot easier and then I'm bringing in my smaller pieces to add more of texture and depth and really spread those branches out a bit so that everything doesn't look like it's going in the exact same direction I'm gonna be filling half of the hoop with greenery so I'm going around one side making sure that all my branches are facing the exact same way and then when I get to the halfway point I'm turning my branch and going the other direction. I like the look of having a center point of the hoop so it's up to you the way you do it but I really like the look of the greenery coming up both sides in both different directions and kind of leading towards the top of the hoop. So anyways I'm continuing the greenery up towards the top and kind of stopping about halfway and filling in any sparse areas and you'll end up with something like this. I added some more small pieces in the middle just to make that part look a little bit more bushy and then I'm going in with my wood beads and adding them to the center of the greenery. So right in the center of the greenery where both directions meet I'm gonna place a wooden ball right in the middle like this and then also glue down one on each side. This kind of gives a look of fake olives but it also kind of gives a nice center to the wreath. It's definitely optional. You can use whatever you want for this but I love the way that looks. All you have to do is hang it up on your door and you end up with a beautiful olive branch wreath. I think this is so pretty for indoors or outdoors. This is hung up in my room right now so that's the way it looks on a plain white door but you can also hang it up outside and use it as your front door wreath. The fun part about it is you can hang it up anywhere. I actually really love the look of this as wall art or even event styling. If you have a bridal shower or a baby shower, anything like that, a birthday party, doing decor like this around the room would just look so whimsical and beautiful. This is something that's typically pretty expensive to buy in stores, so to make it yourself using IKEA branches is definitely the way to go. You will save so much money when creating your custom wreath. So for this last DIY, we're gonna be creating something for the outside of your house to help customize it and dress it up a bit. And that is a custom doormat. I love searching for doormats. I love the ones with really witty sayings, funny things, cute ones, but I've always wanted to create my own and really make it custom. So I think this doormat idea would look so cute in front of any house or apartment. It would be a great gift idea to anybody moving into their first place maybe, or just a really cute way to make your house that much more welcoming. This next DIY IKEA hack is using the Trampa front doormat that is $6.99. This is the smaller size of the two that they sell there, but it's completely plain and totally ready to customize. So I'm going to be customizing this doormat using scotch blue tape, some foam brushes, and some acrylic paint. The best part about this is that you can tape whatever pattern you want out on a plain mat like this and really create your own look. For this mat, I decided to make a little house. I thought that'd be so cute to really have a mini house right on your doormat before you walk in. So I've never seen anything like this, so I'm just really creating it myself. I'm taping out a little window, taping out a little door space, so you end up with a very simple looking house. I'm gonna be using acrylic paint just to dab the paint right onto the mat around all my taped areas. That means I'm gonna end up with super crisp lines and it's kind of gonna look like you used a stencil. So this is kind of a trick on how to get a really custom pattern 
without having a stencil. These mats are a little bit more difficult to paint. You really have to dab in the paint and get a lot on there to really get some nice coverage. But anyways, you can remove the tape of the door and the window. I'm leaving the window plain so that it looks kind of see-through, I guess. And then painting the front door a really pretty blush pink. Once I painted this, I realized it would look so cute if you actually match this color to your real existing front door. And it would just look like this little miniature version of your house on the doormat. But anyways, once you remove the tape, you should end up with these crisp beautiful lines and it really looks like you have a little miniature house stencil on the rug. I think this would actually be such a cute housewarming gift if someone got a new place. You could kind of mimic the look of their place, tape it up on there, and paint their front door color. You can style it on its own or you can layer a colorful rug underneath to really accentuate the colors that you used. All right, so that's it for my DIY home decor IKEA hack ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you try some of them out in your home. Let me know down below in the comments which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more room makeover, home decor ideas, and DIY projects. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned on so you never miss the upcoming videos. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.